broken his microphone again. You're terrible, aren't you? I don't know. What's going on? Thinky you're doo -dee. Have to uninstall it and reinstall it thing again. Okay, do you also just do sign language or something while I am? Yeah, maybe not then. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Oh, oh, all right, it, it's okay. Deary, deary me. No, I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in again the other day. We, we, uh, we normally test it before we start, but I was messing around with your hats. So basically, it's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> You should be able to hear him now. Can you hear me now? Is that working? We have to speak. For Hello! Time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mighty Lancer Games. Yes, yes, yes. Yay! So, uh, let's start again, shall we? Good evening, everybody. It's Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games, and Mrs. MLG is here alongside me, and tonight we're going to paint some mini tours. So, this is uh, two of the guys out of the pack and uh, we're, we're, we're not going to get try and do four we're going to just maybe work on this guy and maybe a little bit of this guy and uh, and we're going to paint these chaps along this evening so hopefully you've got some mini tours as well and you're going to paint along or just be painting anything or just watching us that's cool too so long as you're having a good time that's all that matters and uh, Mrs. MLG has lined up a new hat. Well, I haven't yet. Thing. Oh, she's in the process of lining up a new hat thing. Oh, thank you, Miss Hal. Plus, I have to stop doing it. Sure. This evening, we've got uh, Aldi's finest, Saint Etienne, uh, as our refreshment. Because I had uh, fancy biscuit burnt ends for my tea, so I thought I'd accompany that. With some beer, and then, uh, and and then I might feel like I was in the pub having my tea, because it was a very pub kind of tea. Perhaps I had baked beans with it, which is not really something that you have in the pub. But hey, unless you're a small child. <laughs> so I've got my uh, I've got my new glasses on, so I can see what I'm painting, and uh, let's crack on. So hang on. I need to say hello to everybody, don't I? Hello to everybody that is in chat, so I can see Wicked D and Pete the Priest and uh, Naz and Moxidon and Mr. Howell. And I'm sure I've probably missed somebody that I can't see up the top of the screen there. But if I've missed you, I do apologise. Welcome. Let's crack on. So to start off with, we're going to use some of my new favourite brown, some Reaper Russet Brown, which is a nice mid colour, which we're going to use for skin. Hi, Chunkster. We're going to use this for. Um, let me get this over here so I don't keep trailing off to one side. What's that? Oh, it's the dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> Russet brown, maybe. Yeah. It's an excellent brown. So we're just going to use this as the base coat for the skin. on these chaps. Two thin coats. <laughs> how, uh, how is everybody today? Uh, excellent. It's uh, yeah, it's my new favourite brown at the moment, russet brown. I've uh, I've been using it for all sorts of stuff because I find it makes an excellent base for wood and uh, leather and just about everything. Depending on what colour you put over the top of uh, over the top of it to highlight it, it can make it look completely different. Is that your rude giant, Wicked D? <laughs> Is that? because it's barely got any pants on. So when Wicked D tried to upload it to the uh, to the Discord, 
um, it said that it couldn't be shown because it was an inappropriate image. <laughs> because we're a family-friendly <laughs> Discord server, so we have certain settings. Because the giant, which is a miniature, of course, has its bottom out, it wouldn't let her. Yeah, it's awesome. It, yes, that's right. Explicit, explicit content. Yeah. Is that like when Facebook bans some of our uh, products from their shopping thing because they say that we're not allowed to sell animals? Yes. We're not allowed to sell games that feature dragons because we might be selling real animals. The best one is when they, they banned tiger tanks because we're not allowed to sell animals. So yeah. It's even got tank in the name. Um, I've put the hat thing on now, by the way. Ooh, hats. I've just been round to gather up as many hats as I could find. I was surprised how many different variants we have. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wicked Day's redeemed hat me. No, I, well, you, I'll let you select a hat and pass it to me. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll select the top one. <laughs> awesome. Have you, have you uh, input a cooldown period between uh, how often people can pick it? I have, yes. <laughs> and, I, and I've also inputted a um, maximum amount of times that it can be chosen yeah. as well. Just so you can actually do some painting. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie is uh, cracking on with Brewing Behemoth for the Reaper Challenge League. Oh, excellent. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a very, very nice mini. Still got to uh, still got to submit my uh, duo one, haven't we? I need, in fact, I need and to. And Hydra, as you would see. I need to put it in the uh, thing. So. Need to put it, 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 in the thing. Yeah, I can't remember who I'm doing that one. But anyway, so we can uh, so we can get it submitted. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to seeing your work, Moxie. And Tony got his uh, twisted minis today in the post as well. Excellent. And do you like them? Tony has a, a dodgy signal. They've, uh, they've been messing around with the Wi-Fi oh, yeah, in, they've, in they've, Tony's village. They've cut through uh, the... Uh... Yeah, so uh, we said, did you uh, do you like your Twisted Minis that you, that you got through the post? I, I do believe it does, according to Discord, but you know. Mm. <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to try and spend a little bit more time looking at Discord. Yeah, I don't really get to check it out quite as often as I should do. Mm. Moxie says, "Just order some paint from you to add to my colour scheme for the um, brewery behemoth." Excellent. What, what are you going for? And uh, Tony says, love the Twisted Minis, they're beautiful, and a heart eye emoji. <laughs> they are pretty cool. I've right. not seen them out of, like, out of a box. Yeah, nice figures. I'd really like to see some of them as busts, I think. Is that, is that me? Uh, time up. Ready for another hat me. Hat me! <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, everybody. Can't find any joins in white. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nobody can see my face. <laughs> you can tell that's my hat. <laughs> Which one's your favourite hat so far? Me? Ooh, this one. I like it. <laughs> I feel like a, a, a witch hunter. You know, if anybody joins in the stream late. <laughs> <laughs> and they can just see the top of this massive hat. Yeah, I think it does. We'll have to expand our collection of novelty hats then. Yeah, that's, I think, Tony. Tony says, Nathan, you missed a treat last night in Discord with Wicked D's banned image and my censored mini. I think uh, I think that's why he, he said just now is uh, wanting uh, to join in Discord a bit more. He just wants to see all those bottoms. Yeah. Now says that you look like Terry Pratchett. Yeah, that's a that's good. I like. Yeah, I like that. Do like a bit of uh, Terry Pratchett. No. Oh, sorry. Now, Rin I like Rincewind, but Vimes is my favourite character, I think. Yeah, from, uh, from the Discworld books. I don't look like Vimes in this hat. No. Yeah, I love, love the Discworld books. I don't know which one's my favourite though. What's everybody's favourite Discworld book? I always used to like used to say that Mort was my favourite, but right. I think uh, I think it might be might be Guards Guards. But I, I do like well, I like them all. I like some of the um, some of the later ones with the city watch as well. When uh, the story kind of progresses on a bit and Vimes, yeah, I, I do like Gaspode, <laughs> the Grim Squeaker. We uh, we've got the minis. They still need adding to the website, but we have got the minis for Death and Death of Rats from uh, everything Micro always needs adding to the website. Yeah, no, we're getting there now. It's definitely uh, definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Moxie but. says that um, his boy was looking at the twisted minis and said, "I should get Vinny the hard man because he said it looks like me, yeah. especially the grumpy look on his face." It, I mean, it is just Vinny. I mean, I know it's supposed to be, but it does look like Vinny Jones. It is quite cool. Uh, Tony likes the color of magic, and Wicked D says, "I haven't read them. I have just brought the first one for um, her son to read to see if I can actually get him reading a book. So, <laughs> so when he's finished with it, she's going to read it." Yeah. I, I think he'll enjoy him. It's uh, it's very easy to immerse yourself in the world. And uh... hi, Crafty. Seeing as how you've just joined us, don't worry. Nathan's not gone insane. Uh, we have a hat me reward with your uh, lancer points and Wicked D's making him wear hats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, time, time. Um, yeah, the uh, <laughs> yeah the luggage. The luggage is another one that we've got that needs uh, that needs adding. Hi, girls. 
Right then, what colour should we do his... Hi, what colour should we do his skirty bit that he's got on? We're definitely going to do his weapon bronze. Because I think uh, I think Minotaurs should carry bronze weapons. <laughs> Help me! There we go. <laughs> I just seem to be wearing all of Mrs. MLG's hats. <laughs> you started off with a little Miss hat. Yeah. This is uh, this is Mrs. MLG's steampunk hat that I bought her at Sci-Fi Scarborough several years ago. Mm, it's you know, it's, it is looking like it's seen better days now. Uh, only three hats so far crafting. We'll have to go on a uh, charity shop tour. Yeah, to get pro some... crochet him some some hats, Wicked D. Like a Cthulhu hat and a dragon oh, hat. You know, I'm sure that what you were really thinking was just a plain hat, but no, 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 has to be fancy. <laughs> I, I would like a Cthulhu like hat. I think that made it look as if a uh, something was eating my brain or something. That would look cool. Tony says, I watched Guards Guards at Hull Royal. I thought it was a hospital. Uh, Paul Darrow played Vimes, bumped into this sweet guy at the bar at half time, was chatting and had him in stitches laughing, got back to got back to group who pointed out <laughs> that I was chatting to Terry Pratchett and I didn't have a clue. Oh, That's nice. awesome, Tony. That's yeah. really good. It's maybe why he really liked you because you weren't all fanboying. You were just being normal and making yeah. him laugh. I, I've been to see Guards Guards at Hull Theatre and they had, they had the dragon come on from the side of the stage. I, I remember that. I've, 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 I've like forgotten about that, but now you've like made me remember. That's like really cool. Yeah, how long ago was that? Oh, I don't know. I can't think. Did you come with me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> who, uh, who would I have dragged along to that then? Yeah, can't remember. It's gonna bug me now. Is it Rachel? Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, it might have been. Not that it's massively important, more more about trying to establish when in my life I saw it. Who oh, did you go to Rocky Horror with? Uh, that was Tom and uh, Fran and Helen. Did you not go with them to? No. no. That would have been Rachel then, surely. Yeah, probably. You wouldn't have taken Tink, would you? No. No, oh, well, there you go then. You had that many girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> that you, that you, that you <laughs> took places anyway. Uh, there we go. That was a that was a conversation stop. Terry Pratchett. <laughs> I've got a couple that I still haven't read. I haven't read Raising Steam. Got it, but I haven't read it. And uh, yeah, and I haven't fully read Jingo, which uh, apparently they're both excellent, but I haven't, haven't read them. 
I haven't really read a book properly for a long time, have I? It's, uh, it's just a matter of time. I used to read a lot in bed before I went to sleep. But since we... Uh, hmm? Nothing. Since yeah. we finished that sentence, since we were off. I was going to say, since we moved the room around and I don't have a bedside lamp anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, I can't read while you're asleep. These are mini tours, Gerald. You get, is it four in a pack? Four in a pack do from you wanna uh, work, Reaper. Do you have a little recap on what you did in the day? Uh, I will do. Let me just finish painting this bracelet and I will give you a little summary. Where we are. There we go. Right. So these are uh, mini tours from Reaper Miniatures. These are Bones figures, 77680. Thank you, Mrs. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are one of the packs of figures that we put in our uh, monthly Reaper sub box. Move them down a little bit so they're more in the middle. Uh, and these are awesome, like fun little guys that were in the Bones for. Kickstarter. Excuse me, and, and obviously in the Kickstarter they were like one of the additional add-ons or whatever. I think they might have come in the core set as well. Uh, and they're they're just like cool, fun little guys. So I'm going to use these guys eventually uh, in some D and D or something, or maybe as summon monsters in the uh, fantasy Frozen City skirmish game that we don't mention. Oh. And uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, another hat. <laughs> another one of Mrs. MLG's hats. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, this is one of Mrs. MLG's Halloween hats. Yeah, last time we had the Halloween party, the shop. This is the one that you had on when the news people came, wasn't it? We uh, the last time we got to run a Halloween party in the shop. Uh, Look North, which is the local news TV channel, came along and did uh, a couple of interviews with some of our attendees and uh, some of the staff. And Mrs. MLG was dressed beautifully. Hi, Asmo. Hi, this is. I, I think we're on four hats at the moment. So we've got a new um, way to use your Lance Rewards that Wicked D requested, where you can make Nathan wear a hat. And uh, so far, she, Wicked D's on four, four making him wear a hat. So <laughs> Eventually, we will run out of hats, though, because we haven't got a massive amount. <laughs> yeah, we, we literally decided to add it on about three seconds we'd already gone live and it was the start streaming uh section so we had to run around trying to find some hats so uh, these are genuinely hats that we just happen to have very close at hand but we're very glad you're having fun wicked day oh i could get we could get like does it does a uh, does a hood count as a, a hat because well, I'm just thinking, like for future, like future hat me's, I've I've got my uh, some of my lapping stuff still outside in the office, haven't I? Some of the stuff that I haven't parted with. That's most says how much for a fake mustache. <laughs> I'm sure we could maybe like you know have a have a lap section, and you just have to put a bit of your lapping stuff on every time uh, until well, you're fully yeah, dressed. Then, yeah. <laughs> You might never be able to paint again. <laughs> yeah. Sat here in a cloak and full chain, mate. Isn't it? Oh. Do I need to move it closer? He's only just had a shave, Chunkster. Closer. Oh, and now he's singing. So. <laughs> Is that, that's better. 
you can tell that most of these hats are misses and little misses MLGs because they're too small for my fat head. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I've got me got me coif. That'd count as a hat, I reckon, wouldn't it? It's like a chain mail hood. Yeah. Stuff you're getting whacked in the head. I don't think I've got any helmets left though. I think oh, I like... I've got some helmets now. Are they at the shop? They're at the shop, yeah, they're tiny though, they don't fit on my head. Oh, Dan squeezed one on the other day and then he got it stuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'd not seen them before. Well, it was when I was tidying that the uh, the box room when he saw it. <laughs> and it made funny creases on his head. Yeah, I could bring that on. It might have to wait until winter because some of it's like wool and stuff and it's... <laughs> Who wants to see me jumping up and like... Adding, adding all these items and stuff on. They've come... Haven't, haven't they come for... Uh, your beautiful voice and my rubbish painting. Clearly not. They've come for hats and lap gear. <laughs> Wiki D says that the brush is now straight again after another go with the hair stuff, by the way. Excellent. That's good. It was a, a tip that I picked up off a, uh, a YouTube video, and I can't remember who the content creator was that, that did it, but it was all about... Uh, trying to revive your paintbrushes and it was using like household stuff so the guy used uh, some white vinegar so he, like washed his brushes through in hot water and white vinegar to get the paint residue out of the ferrule and out of the bristles and then use the hair clay stuff to get them back into a point after he's been like blathering them through his, his little mixture. Oh he was washing up liquid as well. Uh, after he'd after he'd had it in the vinegar and the other stuff. Lemon juice I think possibly as well. Just to try and get all of the residue out and then he ran it through with washing up liquid. And then uh, once he'd fully washed it out, he used the hair stuff to get it back into a nice point. And I've been, uh, I went and dug some out of the bathroom cupboard and I've been using it since. It's, it's great. Yeah, because he's not got enough hair to use it on his head anymore. <laughs> it, was, it was getting almost like half an inch long. Wasn't it the other day? It was just... Uncomfortable, so it had to go. Yeah. Take this hat off. Does it? I don't know. We'll leave it off. Leave it on for a minute. So, what are you painting this evening? This evil. I'm painting this evil. What colour should we do his horns? So Minotaurs should have black eyes, I think, because like bulls and stuff have, have predominantly black eyes, don't they? Don't they? I reckon. But what colour should we paint the horns? Do you think we should paint the horns black? Like glossy black? That'd be simple. But do we do we just want to take the easy way out? Somehow I've got red on his leg. What have I done there? Let's paint his leg back brown. Not be, not been like licking my brush enough. It's uh, getting a little bit flayed at the end. Right then. Need to lubricate my brain. Right then, so we're going to use some um, 
Vallejo flat flesh. I'm going to mix a little bit of Vallejo flat flesh with my russet brown to make a slightly lighter colour. Osmo his... says, maybe dark brown with an edge highlight of a lighter brown than its skin tone. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. We'll come back to that. We'll, we'll do his skin and then we'll do the horns. Hmm. I suppose, yeah. Asmo says that he's recently been trying to keep the shadow colour the same throughout a mini. But that, and that would really kind of make everything nice and coherent on the figure, wouldn't it? Because you keep trying to keep in the same colour scheme. I, I think that the uh, Reaper Challenge League limited palette is a really good way of challenging yourself. Which obviously is why they do it, isn't it? It's a really good way of challenging yourself to... Um, Like blend your colours and mix your uh, mix your colours to make a nice gradient, shall we say? A brown goatee thing with grey horns. Yeah, we could we could we could do that. We could do we could do grey. Maybe I might do them if I do them black with a slight highlight of grey. I think that'd be pretty cool. Chunkster has redeemed Hatman. <laughs> how much of me can you see in this? How much of you? Yeah, how much of me can you see in this hat game? I don't I don't want me on the camera. That'd be scary. I know what you mean. Everybody wants to see you anyway. He'll try and tell you that that hat is Little Misses, but we all know it's his. It is Little Misses. That's that's too light. I've mixed too light a colour here. So I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna have to darken that down a little bit. This is my poker hat. This is uh, this is what I wear to intimidate my opponents at, at uh, poker with the boys. <laughs> it's not really. I don't play poker anymore. So Crafty says that's special. It is special. I really like it. Talking of special, anybody celebrating anything? Anything exciting happening at the weekends? Yeah, it's fine. It's your birthday in the not too distant future. Hmm? It, well, yeah, it's not like tomorrow, but it isn't that far away. <laughs> Asma says, I bet COVID masks have really done a number on poker strategy. <laughs> you, haven't played a, you haven't played poker for about two and a half years, have you? It's because you, you used to play and then you just got busy and then yeah. COVID happened anyway, so that put, a, that put an end to that. And, he, and he's not very good either. <laughs> You'd rather play magic, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, I, I do enjoy poker. It's, I, I enjoy it for the social side of things rather than to go and win loads of money. Mm. I've had my fair share of wins. Anyway, it's... Uh, it's not happening at the moment because nobody can like get it together in big enough groups to be able to do it. So uh, I'm painting Minotaurs and Mrs. MLG is painting a uh, 
giant frog. I'm painting evils. <laughs> Miss MLG does not like frogs or toads. I have yeah. an irrational fear of frogs. And today, a blackbird delivered a frog uh, in the garden right near me. And I'm not happy. And now I'm painting a frog because somebody wants it for some random frozen game. So it's a frozen frog. Yeah. No, and I'm looking forward to seeing like what you do with it. Because I've purposefully not been watching to see what you're painting over there. <laughs> our our greyhound uh, knew that I didn't like frogs because I used to run away screaming like a big girl. So he used to eat them whole for me. <laughs> He was a good dog. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, Looks like a mummy. What else can you tell me about these guys? Um, what else can I tell you about these guys? Well, I I think that when we get to use them in a game, that we should use them use the stats as like full size minotaurs no. but just have them as like comedy little minotaurs <laughs> no no you just used to swallow him whole gulp yeah. gone yeah. he did have yeah. an iron stomach there he could... was uh, he was a, a rescue puppy that we got from a rescue centre and they had found him tied up on an industrial estate and he used to eat slugs and snails and like the plaster out of walls and all sorts and we and we had him for a long time and he used to say to him because obviously talk to him he used to say to him but you know you're safe now and you get fed three times a day stop eating slugs and we used to give him uh, chopped tomatoes the vet said to give him like chopped tomatoes and some other stuff and hopefully that might stop him eating all this random stuff but he just used to carry on and uh, seem to seem to enjoy it, and you could never get to him in time. You'd just get there just as a leg, frog leg or something was just sucking in like a piece of spaghetti. I did used to stop stop him stalking the birds though. <laughs> I think he thought he was a cat. I think that this is the thing. A giant, long-legged cat. But he used to really stalk. I mean, going along the floor. Like you see in uh, in wildlife documentaries and you see the, the lions and everything stalking. He used to stalk the blackbirds and we used to have to uh, catch him. Because you could stop him from doing that because he was so slow doing it. You could get to him before, uh, before he got anything. I reckon minotaurs have got uh, minotaurs have got bone coloured teeth, do you reckon? White, bone, black. They haven't been to the dentist, have they? They've got nice clean teeth, surely. Keep knocking the uh, keep knocking the camera with the edge of the hat. Even though, <laughs> even though they are babies, so maybe their mummies like been cleaning their teeth for them. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's it, Crafty, you see. Depends if they floss regularly. Is that the dance or the teeth thing? Oh, this one's got earrings. <laughs> Does that one got earrings? That one's not got earrings. Right then. So let's get some black and we'll do some... Uh... Could I have the uh, solid black right now? Thank you. We'll do some, do some horns, I think. <laughs> I keep knocking the camera. We're going to go for black and then we're going to highlight with a bit of. Uh, I think we're going to go for a little bit of bony kind of colour on the edges of the horns just to keep with the kind of browny colour scheme. Might just give them a gentle dry brush to pick the detail out on those. Had delivered today, and uh, I got Ross to add it to the website straight away. We've got two new Star Wars Legion expansions, which are brand new. There's a uh, speeder truck and an Imperial. Uh, I think it's an Imperial like transport thing. They're pretty funky. And uh, also, we got the standard and the alternate art cover editions of Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft for Dungeons and Dragons. So, we've got those. They're both or all added to, uh, to the website. They're cool. And you've been adding stuff. Yeah. What have you done? Uh, I added some Gaze Master stuff and some Pathfinder flip mats. Oh, excellent. Crafty says, those steampunky twisted minis look awesome. They do look awesome and Tony has got some. Uh, so we're waiting for him to show us them in the Discord channel out of the box. Do the Wizard of Oz inspired ones come in a set? We've only got what we've got, haven't we? Um, there was the Tin Man, the Lion, uh, Young Dorothy. Young Dorothy comes in a set, but she's not got she's not got the rest of the. No, I don't know. Her, if, yeah, I don't know if they. Uh, I don't think they do. I, let's just say that I don't think they do come as a full set. I think you have to buy um, buy them as singles. Unless, unless there's a set that we haven't got that I'm not aware of, but I think it's the Guild of Harmony, and that's the only one that doesn't have two variants, because there's, I think it's, is it Scions of the Sands, one and two, and then there's the um, Servants of the Engine, and then there's the Street Urchin one, isn't there, whatever that one's called. Dickensians. And then there is the Guild of Harmony, which is the one that's got the young Dorothy and a couple of other characters in Tinkerbell. Yeah. So I don't know. Are we uh, are we missing any my darling? Welcome back, Wicked D. Where have you been? That's unacceptable. That, that sounded like a um, announcement. Like an aeroplane. Yeah. Welcome back, Wicked D. Please take your seat. What you got? 
Back to the Twisted, though, you got everything that, that you could anyway, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. There's some more single figures um, in metal and resin, but I think we have got, I think we have got at least one of everything. Um, depending on whether it's resin or metal. But yeah, there's some more to come that were on back order. Ah, blobbed on my brownie bit. Wicked, he had to restart because it kept freezing and then the PC decided it was going to update. They always do that, don't they? Just when you're like wanting to do something. We're going to update yeah. now. Yeah, my, uh, my laptop decided it was going to update when I wanted to turn it off to come home. But fortunately, it didn't take it all that long. I went and shut all the fire doors while it was sorting itself out. Oh, missed all that bit. Missed all the handle of his axe. Wanted to do that black. Crafty says, is there much of a difference in quality between the resin and the metal twisted minis? Well, I'll be honest, I couldn't spot much uh, in it, but the, uh, what I will say is that the resin ones look really, really nice resin that you don't have much, uh, there isn't much flash by the look of it that needs clearing up. But if it was me, I'd be going for the metal ones, I think. Yeah, when when I was adding them, uh, obviously I didn't take any out of the packet because the for sale. But when I was adding them, you could see you could see a slight difference between the metal and the resin. But I would still go for the metal given the price. But you, th there is a difference. You, you can tell, but it depends how much you want to spend, I suppose. And, and, and if, you, if you're going to use them on a gaming table, then you're going to be moving them around and knocking them and things. If you, if you want them for a precious uh, display cabinet, you're probably better off with the resin ones because th th there is a difference. Um, but there's also a big difference in price, isn't there? So. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the resin one is like a couple of quid yeah. or three pound more or whatever. Which set did you get, Tony? If you, uh... I got one of the agents of steam, one of the servants of the engine. I think, I think Tony got one of the servants of of, en of the engine ones. So when you were talking, I didn't need to be uh, describing. So I'm just, I'm probably uh, doing something totally unnecessary. I thought that I would uh, paint a bit of a darker colour into the recesses. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Now it's dried. Looks worse. One looked uh, pretty rough once I was when the paint was wet. Anyway, <laughs> so. What I've just done is uh, I've mixed, so the same red that I used to paint the skirty bits, uh, I mixed a little bit of black with the red to make a dark colour that I could paint in the recesses just to darken that off slightly. And, uh, and now I'm going to add a tiny little bit of um, white into some of the red and I'm going to use that to highlight it up at the other side. If I can, just on a couple of points. Not like that though, because that looks pink. Needs a bit more red in there. I 
might add a little bit of brown in as well. Let's see if we can make that look a bit different. There we go. That's better. Tony's just put in the discard that he's, uh, he's had to stop watching because of the internet problems in the uh, in the village. Yeah. I said, it's alright, we're talking about you, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Our fibre broadband should go live tomorrow. I was, I thought it was today, but it's tomorrow. Uh -huh. At the uh, at the shop, we should have super fast business broadband, which hopefully should speed things up for the uh, the staff and uh, doing their stock checks and stuff. And we keep the same phone number. So, yeah, we didn't want any interruption. So we'll still carry on getting phone calls for the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the shop telephone number is very... Uh, oh, super. Hate Crafty Gobbo's watching us in HD. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> you can see my bald head in HD. Quick, put a hat on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, ours isn't going to be quite as fast as yours then 30 to 500 it's going to be about 70 apparently at the uh, at the shop but that's better than the 10 that we get at the moment and when we uh, when we first started looking into doing some streaming at home here we uh, <laughs> we we discovered that our broadband at home was five megabytes per second or whatever it is, and uh, and now it's on about eighty, I think, isn't it? We're we're doing all right at the moment, but we just I don't know if we we can get speeds of like three to five hundred. Seems to be uh, becoming a bit of a norm. Right. So this is where we are. Oh, we've got five minutes to go. Best, uh, let's do some horns or something, shall we? Or should we do teeth? Teeth or horns? Teeth or horns? Because then they'll see how rubbish they are. This is one of my hats. This is this is my uh, this is my summer hat. This. Okay. Right. There we go. Okay. Try and hold them still there. Yeah, that looks all right to me. man from Del Monte, he said they're great. <laughs> Thank you, Crafty Gobo. You're very kind. Right, so uh, I think we're going to paint some teeth. So we're going to go with some uh, aged bone, I think, from Reaper. I'm just get a little blob of that out. We'll pick out some teeth. That's going, to, that's going to have to get more on the top of my head so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is bad. Is it? Sorry? Yeah. I've been trying to use this brush for as much as I possibly can. I've been trying to use bigger brushes. Well, because if you use a really tiny brush, you 
have to go back and like apply more paint all the time, don't you? I'm trying to use a bigger brush so I can get like smoother paint job. Okay. That's how it works in my brain anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure the logic in using a giant brush to paint tiny teeth, to be fair. Yeah. Um, posture check. You've shrunk over so much no one can see you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shlunk's a real word. <laughs> Gerald says... Looks like the hat the villain wears in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> yeah. See, so they didn't pick so on... then you might like the next hat. They didn't pick on you as much when you wore my hats. Uh, Wicked yeah. D wants you to get drunk. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, hydrate, sorry. They did look like... <laughs> you look like you've brushed... <laughs> you look like you've brushed their teeth and they need to and, rinse and, their mouth. And they're all foamy. <laughs> <laughs> Mixomatosis minotaurs. Yeah, we'll sort those out in a minute. <laughs> we'll give give that uh, give that light coat a, a chance to dry and then we'll do something with it. Right then. So we're gonna mix mix a bit of black and white and make a little grey. Now says that's what the pros seem to use. A larger brush with a pin sharp point is awesome. Stepping up my painting game. <laughs> we could do says yeah those are some very white teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh... I like my Army painter, wargamer, Kolonsky masterclass brush for right. doing um, yeah. little little things, and then I use my humbrol brushes for everything else. Yeah. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of a wash in his mouth to make it a bit darker, and then we'll see where what it looks like whether we need to do anything else right then so this is just a mix of uh, like bone and white and uh, well bone and gray should we say pick a little bit of detail out across these horns oh, i think that looks all right already So this is a uh, this is a quality quality dry brush from my uh, dry brush collection. The uh, the Ami makeup brushes. Other brands are available, such as the uh, the rather excellent Ami painter like soft bristled ones and uh, what have you. But this is. This is what we've got. Awesome, that looks absolutely fabulous. Show everybody that in a minute. Right, let's uh, let's ditch my rubbish things and look at Mrs. MLG's amazing uh, ice toad, as it's going to be. The, uh... So this is one of the Reaper giant frogs. Is that four four zero two four? Maybe four four zero two four, possibly. Uh, comes as a pack of two giant frogs. This looks awesome. Hmm. Yeah, is that not what it is? Oh, it is, yeah, they're just out. Oh, yeah. 44024, giant frogs. So we, uh, we'll have to make sure we get some more of these bad boys in. 
It looks absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's blue because he wanted it for that game. <laughs> that game that I've forgotten what it's called. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Right then, let's uh, let's see if we can put some wash in the mouths of these minotaurs. I'm alright with it on for the moment. So I'm just going to use a bit of my uh, Agrax Earthshade Null Noil Mix just to darken those teeth down a bit because as uh, Wicked D said, they're very white. Very white. They, uh, they've been using Colgate for years. Gerald's son painted the frogs for a school project. Awesome. What kind of school project like allows you to paint giant frogs? That sounds cool. You, you'd have never got away with something like that when I was at school. Just realized that I had painted his lower lip white and a bit of his upper lip white, that's no good. Excellent. They're looking alright, aren't they? I think they're looking alright. Nearly finished. So really what I want to do is, I painted the eyes black, but really what I want them to do is, is be shiny black, because nobody has matte black eyeballs, do they? So uh, I'm just going to get a bit of gloss black and do their eyeballs in. No, my eyeballs are definitely gloss black. No, oh, bull, oh, bull, bull's <laughs> eyes are black. You've only got four minutes over. Yeah, we're doing, doing, we're doing, doing, doing quite well. well. Look, I'll get yeah. a proper little paintbrush out. And what's that? Is that a Green Stuff World? This is my Green Stuff World double O brush a silver series silver series Kalinsky sable uh, I've no, never used one of the gold ones I, I prefer to try and use something that's uh, do you like my t-shirt I like this t-shirt um, <laughs> uh, prefer to try and use the brushes that are definitely at the more affordable end of the scale so this brush I think it, it, RRP is about £3.90 it's about Definitely less than uh, a fiver. Ah, Jarelt's son had to do a diorama for amphibians. Alright, cool. Awesome. I suppose really it's only the same as when Little Miss had to do a story about a portal. So she painted the Reaper Mystic portal as, as part of the project. Yeah, I guess so. Any excuse to paint those, really. Yep. Super. Right then, so the next thing in my brain is, do I, do I make the, weather, the weapons look like they're a bit weathered or do I just give them a quick highlight with a bit of gold or something? Because they do look very gold at the moment, don't they? I don't know. I think they need something a bit more, don't they? I can't just call them done at that. This guy's base is like folding in half. What's going on there? 
<laughs> Gerald says, I was going to start making up fake school projects for him so he can help me get through my bile of shame. Sounds, <laughs> sounds awesome. It does sound like a good idea. Crafty Gobber says, those Guild of Harmony minis are just... Uh, and then an emoji I that is, is for it? love, I do believe. Yeah. Awesome. A bit of verdigris, perhaps. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. It just so happens that I have my uh, Nihilac Oxide nearby. So, uh, for the Reaper Challenge League, just give you a quick, quick preview or show off of what I've been painting recently. So... I've uh, got a couple of things on the go for the Reaper Challenge League. I'm going to shake this. This is my uh, Milkmaid. She's almost ready for submission. With her, She's for the pop-up polka dot challenge. So she's got her polka dot pinny on. Uh, hopefully might submit her this evening. If I can get her finished. And then also, talking about Verdigree, this is what made me think of this. So one of the challenges is... To paint the quarterly contest mini and it's uh, this month it's or this quarter it's tathis tathisis isn't it do i need to change my hat again mm -hmm. uh, yeah so tathisis i think it's called the uh, dragonborn rogue so uh, this is my dragonborn rogue so I decided that I was going to paint him as a bronze dragon, but I wanted to give him a bit of verdigris. So this is my current state of mini. So he's been painted bronze, then lavishly verdigreed all over, and uh, is awaiting highlighting and uh, etc. to bring it back up to bronze, but leaving the verdigree obviously in the in the recesses. So I went with the double sword option because this particular mini comes with several options for what you put in his hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you go. If you look on the back, you can probably see like a bit of the bronze showing through the verdigree there. But there's certainly uh, plenty more to pick out in the in the thing. And then I'm going to give him nice red or her. I don't know whether it's him or her, but nice red glossy armor, like a uh, like a samurai or something. And uh, I need to straighten that sword. That one bent like that the other day. It must have been resting on something. Anyway, so that's what we're working on there. And then let's get some verdigray on. So, where's me? This is another one of my actual hats. Is this the last hat? Oh. No. no. <laughs> it's not. Thank you. I, I hope so, Naz. It's uh, I'm really enjoying doing this much painting. <laughs> so, but sooner or later, I'm going to have to start painting some of all the the wealth of sci-fi minis and different things I've got to paint as well. So. Need to uh, need to get my hand back in. I think at painting some of these different colours and different things. There's a an amazing game. I've probably ranted on about uh, the particular game on on stream before, but there's a fantastic game called Beyond the Gates of Antares by Warlord Games, and uh, I have a army for said game which are the freeborn collective and these are humans it's a sci-fi game and uh, this is a human race thanks, see you later thanks for coming uh, so a human society that have been an offshoot from like the main empire of man shall we say and uh, They've got some pretty cool stuff going on. They've, they've, they've uh, got some genetic engineering happening, got, like mutants in their army, and uh, and they pick up feral races from planets that they've explored and all this kind of stuff. So they, uh, 
definitely uh, a little bit of an interesting faction. So I've got a whole load of those to paint because I've never actually painted one of my figures. I've played several games of this game and never actually painted one of the figures for my army. So I need to pull my finger out and get some of those painted because when we get back to gaming in store, we want to try and introduce some new players to this game because it's a fantastic game. The rules are awesome, written by a uh, excellent games designer who you may have heard of, Mr. Rick Priestley, who was uh, one of the founding kind of games designers at Games Workshop when they did 40k and original Warhammer Fantasy Battle. When they still had jokes in it. And uh, he's a really nice guy and he makes fantastic games, writes fantastic games. So I want to introduce some people to this awesome game system because it's not just all about GW. I did. Oh, sitting up straight and everything. <laughs> right, so I think what I'm going to do is just go for another fine highlight on the skin while I'm waiting for my nylac oxide to go off. Just in, just in a couple of areas on the chest and around the eyes. So what do we all think to the uh, mini tours then? Are there something that you think you'd want to paint now you've seen them with some paint on? I think they look a lot better than on the images on the website where they're uh, plastic. You don't really get to see all the detail, do you? I'm liking them really. I, think they're, uh, I, I must admit I was a little bit daunted about because the slightly comical appearance but now I'm uh, on with them I think they look pretty cool Peter Pierce says they're still sat in front of me ready to paint should have been painting a long paint Definitely. He's gaming. What were you, what were you gaming on? Elder Scrolls Online. Is it Elder Scrolls Online? Is it like Skyrim and Oblivion? Is there uh, is there still plenty of fresh stuff to do? Oh, I think that looks a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I've not progressed any further into consoles than my Xbox 360. <laughs> That's uh, it's certainly a matter of time, isn't it, Mrs? It's, uh, there isn't enough time as it is without... Uh, says, yes, there is way too much to do with nothing Yeah.
Yeah, it's quite easy to sink a lot of hours just into the version of Skyrim that I've got, let alone uh, have something where there's like additional content and stuff to uh, to be going at. I lost many an hour in my early 20s to uh, World of Warcraft, I know exactly what it's like. And, uh, and I... <laughs> Depends how long you've paid for. Do you have to... Is it a pay-to-play thing? But this is my favourite hat. Right then, so I think just a, a little bit of uh, highlight on the weapon once this thing does and then the bases and we're done. So these are, I'm pretty happy with how these are, these are turning out. Good, e Good evening White Rose Dragon. If you're wondering why he's wearing a hat, it's because we have a new Lancer Rewards where you can make him wear a hat. <laughs> he might have just thought it's because I'm cool. <laughs> there's a there's a song called is it because I'm cool mm. I'm not sure how how many hats you had on one two three four five six seven seven hats so far <laughs> Dragon hasn't been able to catch your streams as I have been working nights for a few weeks now. Ooh, rubbish. But you see, that's that's why we've run over by a whole 20 minutes, just so just so you could catch our stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is currently painting Reaper Mini Tours, which come in a pack of, uh, is it four? Four. I've forgotten again. Uh, a pack of four. Just putting a bit of verdigris on the weapon. White Rose Dragon says, "How are you both? Happy, happy to hear the shop will be the the gaming floor will be opening soon. It will, it will. We're oh, uh, shame it's not this week because it's the week off. I know, but you yeah. know, there's there's lots of weeks. Yeah, first first of June, uh, Monday to Saturday. Got to book though because we only allowed so many people in. But yes. Yeah. Yep, we're, How are uh, we're... you then, White Rose Dragon? How's, uh, how's Knights treating you? Do you want me to take my hat off? I'll take my hat off. says the their degrees is looking fantastic you are actually quite doing quite a good job with that white rose dragon the downside to menators is they don't come with a guidebook oh no oh, you have to you have to use pieces of string or something that's yeah. bad that's a proper dad joke that in it <laughs> and it took me far too long to get it as well that's terrible that is terrible on my behalf I'm very sorry. I've decided I might sound like a uh, tour guide today. Maybe maybe that's why. I thought, yeah. you know, doing the, the mini tours, 
Yeah. And and because they're mini tours, that's e- that's even more tour sounding, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Moxie says, "What is verdigris?" Uh, Pro- so probably not how you say it either. No, that's uh, so verdigris is is kind of the um, as as I believe the because I might be wrong, like the the way that sort of bronze and copper rusts with this kind of greeny blue uh, effect. So you get rather than it being like a, a brown rust. You get a green rust, so they call it verdigris. Greeny blue kind of colour. So on on a like a copper based, because uh, copper is like the main element, isn't it? So you get copper. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you see the the greeny kind of colour that we've put on here. So copper is the main element, and then bronze and brass uh, mixed with copper and iron and steel I believe to get uh, copper uh, bronze and brass so they all tarnish in the same way with this kind of greeny kind of colour and uh, so silvers and golds tend to go black but bronzes and what have you go oh there you go verdi meaning green grease meaning grey excellent that's, that's thank, far too thank clever, you very much right, Rose, that's far too clever yeah, so basically, Moxie, it's the uh, it's the tarnish effect on brass. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with them. So I just need to finish the bases up. I'm going to call these done. They're uh, ready to kill some player characters. I'll get the bases finished up, and we'll uh, we'll show you those off tomorrow Wednesday. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. <laughs> I do like. Them. Yeah, I like them. I like them. That sounds so nice and si- nice and simple bad guys. Oh. So we're actually we will do a poll on Wednesday, so we'll get it sorted. Thank you, Pete the Priest. Pete says that I've done an awesome job. Uh, so we'll get a poll set up on Wednesday, so everybody can pick what. Mini we paint next Monday. That's uh, let me swap the glasses back so I can see what's happening everywhere else but five feet away. Thank you very much, Geralt. So, uh, so why don't you do a poll now and then you won't forget? Because I can't remember what else was in the box. I need to get the list out. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. So tomorrow night is uh, chat and uh, regular painting. And uh, so we might do a bit of our dragon folk rogue tomorrow night and uh, a couple of other things. I've got some other minis that I need to get finished off. Uh, and then Wednesday, we're going to be painting some more of Bellacor, uh, who's out of reach for me at the moment. But we, uh, we will be painting some more of Bellacor. We're going to be doing a bit more fine detail and stuff, trying to get him looking a bit better. Uh, we don't We don't know. Uh, if to swap the cameras as well, do we? So that on a Tuesday, you can see you painting and me painting. Yes, I think that, and, that's what we should and do. And no faces. So no hats, unfortunately. What, what would anybody think to that? Would you rather yeah. Would you rather see Nathan's beautiful face? Or split screen so you can see what Mrs. MLG is painting at the same time. You have to, uh, you have to show them my rubbish frog again. And this, is, this is the effort. This is, it's not an effort, oh, this is... Pete wants to play marbles. <laughs> this is uh, Mrs. MLG's awesome, awesome ice frog that she's painted. Like, I think you need to see Mrs. MLG painting as well, don't you? Mm. Yeah! Here you go. Mm. There, that would be excellent, Naz says. <laughs> So, right, we'll figure out how to do that for tomorrow, then. All right, why are you, uh, you loading the thing? And Wicked D says, yay, Mrs. MLG. Mm. Geralt says that would be cool. Mm. No hats, then, see? Wicked D no, we, do, we don't, no, we can wait for hats for another day. That's fine. Oh, 
Mrs. MLG is just loading marbles, trying to load marbles. So we can have a quick game of marbles before we close out the stream for the evening. Oh, sorry. That's just noises. I know, I know. So, uh, well, I guess I've got some. I've got some bronze. But I might. I might just do a little bit of this guy here while uh, Mrs. MLG is just getting that ready. I think. I think we might do a bit of a uh, bit of bronze. Does anybody actually want to play marbles? Pete the priest wants to play marbles. I'm gonna, gonna just do a little bit of bronzing on me and my guy here. See if we can see if we can do some wings. Okay. Popped out. <laughs> okay, exclamation mark play. If you want to join in, exclamation mark play, and then we'll uh, get started. So, uh, Geralt's in the lead, Mox is in the lead, White Rose Dragon's in the lead. Mighty Lance is in the lead, yay! No, Geralt's in the lead. Mox. <laughs> Mox is in the lead, and Geralt's back in the lead. This is, like, tense, this. It keeps, uh, keeps changing at the top here. White Rose Dragon's in the lead. Mox is back in the league. League? Lead, lead. Geralt's in the lead. White Rose Dragon in second place, Moxie in third, Mighty Lancer in fourth, Moxie's in second, no, Mighty Lancer's still in fourth, Geralt, Geralt's gonna win, is Geralt gonna win? What's that means to Fizzy Whizzle? Fizzy Whizzle's lagging at the back, Geralt wins, Moxie's second, White Rose Dragon potentially third, Mighty Lancer fourth. What's going on? What are you doing, What's going Wicked on here well done, Joe! Woo! 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 <laughs> yeah, your mic's gone again. This is most inconvenient. It is, isn't it? Oh, I know why. Why? You muted them. No, we're on a different. We're on a different scene, so it wasn't working on the other uh... one. Yeah, that's why. Right, one more go then. You'll have to shout in this one instead. Did we like that, um, did we like that, that 
course exclamation mark play if you want another go we'll just have one more you only didn't like it because you didn't win wicked do you? you didn't like it either pete exclamation mark play if you want to go lurking owl lurking owl what's the, the, oh, that's that the name person of the who, no it's called twists and turns that'll be the person who made it uh, yes yeah, silly sausage oh hello there i can't say borax xjwx but welcome <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think we're uh, I think we're all in. Let's make sure that play everyone's in. I do believe. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not very good at saying names. That's all. So no, no, nothing personal. Just yeah. just me and my rubbishness. Here we go. Here we go. And we're off. Well, we're not away. Come on. No. Okay. I'll <laughs> jump the gun. Jump the gun. Yeah. Oh, there's another spinny. It's another spinny one. Oh, how are we going to get down? At least no one's fallen off yet. I mean, you know. No. Oh, Wicked D's in... Well, I was in the lead. What happened? Didn't last no. very long. Lasted about yeah, three no. seconds, that. Mighty Lancer was in the lead. For about five that's, seconds. That's what we need. That's what we need. Mighty Lancer winning. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. It's, it's anyone's oh, game. Oh, it's Geralt right? again, look. Yeah. Geralt's in the lead again. Oh wow, that's going can, fast. Can he have two wins in a row? Oh, Fizzy Wizzle's close up on the inside. Yeah. These two are uh, storming ahead, closely followed by Naz. Very closely. <laughs> Miles behind the rest of the pack. But look how like... Yeah. Okay. Geralt and Fizzy Wizzle still zooming ahead. It says, it looks as though Fizzy Wizzle's in front, doesn't it? But Geralt, well, not, Geralt's not necessarily, look. They're, yeah. they're quite close. Yeah, Fizzy Wizzle's in the lead. Oh, it's got I, to I go around this, those rings. This looks like someone's going to fall off somewhere. Isn't it? Falling, off, falling off best, as long as it's not me. Even though we are fourth currently, so, you know. Where are we even at? Oh, we're there. Look, we're there. Come on. Oh, Geralt's... Oh, you see, you might get stuck on these yeah. uh, on these things there. Oh, no. But no, no, didn't look. straight through. No. Oh, Fizzy Wizzle got stuck yeah. on it, though. Fizzy Wizzle's got ah. stuck on the turny things. Everybody can catch up now. Geralt's zooming Wicked through. Wicked D's caught up. Oh, Geralt's definitely, definitely going to be first. Yay. Well done. Two in a row. Come on. Rigged. <laughs> It's not White Dragon, it's not. It was second. Is Naz going to be second? Oh, we're stuck on a turny thing. Oh, Naz is second. Well done, yeah. Naz. We're stuck on a turny thing Correct again. Third. Moxie Don. Moxie Don's going to be fourth. Are you going to be fourth? Yeah, yeah, Moxie's fourth. Where are you, Pete? He's there. He's there. Oh, He's in. Oh, seventh. seventh. You're going to be seventh, aren't you, Pete? Unless you fall off. Oh, no, seventh. Yeah. We're eighth. Oh, yeah. white rose dragon. What, yeah. what were you messing around on on there? Rigged. It's rigged. It's not. It's <laughs> not. Mm, I don't know. You've still not made it yet. Come on. Poor little white rose dragon's marble. I like the whirly, yeah. Go round and round and round and round. <laughs> Awesome. Well done, Geralt. Two in a row. Back to you. Back to me. Well, so we're going to, uh, we'll, we'll call it a night there. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. And what Please. were you doing with this? Oh, I was what just, were you uh, doing with this I, I was just putting a bit of a, bit of bronze on the, on the wings while we were <laughs> getting ready while you Geralt's were sorting that. Geralt's going to play the lottery with all that yeah. good luck. Yeah, I was just gonna uh, just gonna do a little bit on that guy, but I'm not gonna now because we're gonna uh, finish and we'll carry on with him tomorrow. So this guy and uh, any number of other projects that I've got on my painting table tomorrow, 
and uh, and now whatever Mrs MLG has got on her painting table as well because we're going to figure out how to do some split screen action another so frog. you won't be able to see frog. my beautiful smiling face but you will be able to see Mrs MLG's we'll hands while she is painting oh, thank you thank for you. the follow that's thank really you, kind of that's you. very kind Yay! So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you join us tomorrow at 7 UK yeah. time, then you will see Mr. MLG painting. What's it called? That? Tathesis. Yeah, that, that, that's, why, like that's that. why I didn't say that. Yeah, Tathesis. And I'll be doing the other frog in the same paint scheme because they're for. What's, what's the. Frostgrave! Frostgrave, everything's for Frostgrave! <laughs> Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Geralt, for your kind words. Thank you, everybody, for coming along and spending the evening with us. Thanks, Moxie. We, uh, we really appreciate you all just coming and checking us out. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, we will see you tomorrow. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank and you. uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks a lot.